when you have, uh, I'm assuming, Andy Dalton, I've never used him. He gets the ball off pretty fast. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I've never used Cincinnati or Aaron, you know, or Andy Dalton. And here we go. Mike Skimbo's going to have it first. Semifinal number one here from Vegas. Adam Rank from the NFL Network. Boogs, one of the top Madden players in the world. And I'm Scott Cole. We're going to be bringing you 20 minutes of John Madden football. And Skimbo will start with it first. And he'll start at the 22-yard line. And surprise, surprise, it's going to be bunch to the right. Don't see many formations out of Mike. Matt may give up a touchdown. That's smart. Oh. And there's a sack. And really nothing open downfield. You talked about it. You, Skimbo liked the alignment, looking to go deep, but nothing there. Yeah. Uh, Skimbo, me and Skimbo have worked on a lot of this stuff a lot. And once he sees this match defense and sees Matt playing on that safety and co cover four quarters, He's showing it again. Matt's going, I mean, Skimbo's going to probably try to take another side, or he may just try to make this third down a little shorter. So second and 22 now. Mahomes dancing around the pocket. Oh. There's a wide open Tyreek Hill, and he's off the races. One man to beat, two man, three man, and he'll be gabbled up at the 34 yard line. There's that big gain, 56 he, yards. He went, he went, Matt went right back to the quarters. That's something me and Skimbo worked on. The slant. Playmaker it up, it messes the match coverages up, and it gives him a big play. I feel like I'm talking to Adam Brink about fantasy. I'm getting the inside information here from Books, and that's a nice job stopping on the run. That's going to be a loss of four, second and 14. But once again, Adam, Kansas City, big plays. Absolutely, and again, it was something that Kid was talking about when he was up here of sending Tyreek Hill in motion and then bringing him back across the field for a big game. So it's going to be second and 14. And Mahomes steps, throws. Tyreek with a spin move. And that's close to the marker at the 26-yard line. Tyreek is so fast that he, he really causes such a problem on the field. And you have to kind of account for him every play and look at what he's doing. Here we go now. Third and two. Ball at the 26. He's going to flip it. This is a key two yards for Mike Skimbo here on this opening drive. And you can see him just using a ton of time. This 40-second play clock really starting to come into play early, especially get those extra adjustments in. And he will call a timeout. Talk to us a little bit, Boogs, about these guys that flip it back and forth and what that does to the defense trying to set their adjustments. So defensively, a lot of guys, we, make, we don't just kind of call a play and leave it as is. We make a lot of different adjustments. We may, you know, man the safety up, you know, the strong safety up on a guy or, you know, put us in a zone, a random zone somewhere. And when, the, when your opponent's constantly flipping the play, it, it now forces you to readjust your defense and readjust how, you, how you're adjusting to your opponent. There you can see uh, Bose headsets to keep the noise out in these semifinals games. The official sound of Madden 19 Championship Series. And they've been a great partner to us all weekend long. Oh. And throws a pick to Jackson. And it's going to be Master Gamer at the 32 yard line. Bad read there by Skimbo Books. Yeah, I expected him to go to his tight end on that play, but I don't know why he went to the outside. I, I think we both saw cover two coming out, so I don't know why Mike threw to to the outside uh, wheel route. And I, all of a sudden, I feel like uh -oh. Skimbo is Duke basketball. It is starting uh -oh. to become very favorable in favor of the crowd here locally in Vegas for Master Gamer. Yeah, they're going to always gravitate towards the underdog in any, in any sort of tournament like this. Anytime you get an opportunity, to see one of these upstarts make a name for themselves. It's hard not to get on the bandwagon. And there comes the Heat, Andy Dalton. A big sack from Terrence Smith. Let's take a look one more time at this interception brought to you by Snickers. And it's just a bad read. Yeah, like I said, he had the flat Kelsey's. on the outside. I don't, I'm not sure why he didn't throw it to the tight end. Maybe he saw something or saw the flat kind of drift back and maybe thought it was a deep move. Skimbo talked about it in his interview with Rico that he wasn't sure what you're going to see from that Bengals personnel. And here is Walton Jr. out of the backfield. Only a 70 overall, but he's got the things you want. A little bit of speed, a little bit of spin, a little bit of elusiveness. And Madden, that'll play. Yeah, 
this team is so unfamiliar to me. It's <laughs> it's actually kind of working to Matt's advantage a little bit. I'm pretty sure when he's going against people who are unfamiliar with the Bengals, he, people don't know maybe who, who can spin on the field, who, who can who's, who's fast, all the different personnel things that, that matters in the game. And I think those, especially yesterday, that played into his advantage. Didn't against Musafa, because Musafa knows Uses, the Bengals, yeah. using the Bengals. Uh, but let's see what it can do against Mike Skimbo here on third and oh. 10. Nearly picked off, and here comes a fourth down. Yeah, it looked like, he, looked like he had A.J. Green open there for a moment, but just waited a beat too long to get that ball out of his hand. Yeah, it's tough when you have a guy, when, you, when your opponent is kind of lurking in the middle of the field and, and you don't know the direction they're going to go. So you kind of have to hesitate a little bit before you release the ball because you don't necessarily know where your opponent's going to go. Well, a good crowd in the Twitch chat and all of the platforms. We want to welcome you in. A happy Saturday to you. Coming to you live from Las Vegas. We're in semifinal number one, two more games to go before we crown a Madden 19 Classic Champion. Dalton all Gotta day, get... but not that much time. And once again, Mike Skimbo causes a turnover on downs, Adam. That's something that we've seen regularly out of Mike in this tournament. Yeah, that's what we've been talking about. As much as he's regarded for his offense and the way he's been using Tyree Kill, I think that the most impressive part of his game so far this weekend has been his defense. He's not known for his defense, but he's he's it's coming up there. certainly can play it, Book. Yeah, he's a very good defensive player. And then he has one of the best lurks uh, in the game. You know, I say there's there aren't many people that I put on the list that I feel like can lurk or bait me when I'm playing offense. And Mike's in, he's one of those guys on my list. There's a few other guys as well, but you know, he, and then also he's just very systematic defensively. He's going to give you certain things, and then you just have to be willing to take it. Let's see what can happen. Mike threw an interception for Skimbo last time he had it uh, to Willie Jackson when he got down in this part of the field. Nearly threw one there. Here comes a third and nine. Still looking for our first score here in the semifinals. And the bell will toll. A little motion to the outside. Mahomes looking. He's going to be dropped at the 20. Matt's doing a great job of bringing the safety down into the box and, and kind of taking away that quick seam route to Connolly from Skimbo. All right, get a little pause here. I know he's not putting Jeff Driscoll in at this point. You never know. Break. You never know. <laughs> the quarterback out of Florida who's been manning the Cincinnati Bengals over the last couple of weeks since Andy Dalton has been out, but no, probably not. Of course, Grocery, a huge Gator fan. Him and User did a fabulous job this weekend and boy there's so many players so many games so many great games so many great moments coming out of this tournament but skimbo cracks the scoreboard he gets the first score it's three to nothing and now it's time for master gamer to have the opportunity to answer this will be his second possession and there's the speedy john ross and we love tyree kill and i know the speeds are comparable but it's not even close when you're talking about uh, when you, those, those matting ratings and what you can do with them. Yeah, it's, it's nowhere near close in my opinion. You know, Tyreek, I feel like he's almost broke the game. With, <laughs> with, you know, he doesn't even feel like 99 speed. He feels like he's above that. And then also he kind of, even though he's 5'10", I think John Ross may be an inch taller. Tyreek can aggressive catch and, you know, make big plays for you. And I'm not even sure if John Ross can spin as well. You know, RG and I were talking about usually, you know, the taller guys were the guys that would get those animations where they go up and reach for it, but in Madden 19, even the littler guys, I'm not gonna say short guy, the smaller guys than smaller. like a Randy Moss or you know, a tall guy like Julio Jones, you can go up and get it, and Tyree Kill is one of those. Second and four now. And that's gonna be the end of the first. So these guys chewing up a little clock, maybe trying to figure each other out. And we have a three nothing ball game, Skimbo with the lead. And it's going to be a second and four coming up for Master. And that really sort of has that feeling right now of maybe, maybe two teams that really don't know a lot about each other and maybe two players that haven't played a lot against each other. Yeah. Skimmel doesn't really like that. He really likes to, like I said before, he's a systematic guy. He wants to kind of play one way and know what he's going to do way ahead of time. And, you know, he's right now he's in a very uncomfortable position, even though I did – say and predict that Skimbo was going to flood him, and I stand by that. 
Uh, he's still got he a ways to go. He's freestyle a little bit on defense. And he what, doesn't like to freestyle. He's just about flooded everybody he's come up against. Um, he beat K Mike 27 to nothing. You saw, you saw what he did in, in the round of eight uh, today, and now he's in the semifinal. And he's, his defense has rolled, been real tough. He hasn't given up a lot of points. Quick throw on the outside. Walton Jr. spins for the first down. And that's going to give Matt a few more chances to move the ball down the field. He's got some spin on him. Yeah, and we talked about that earlier. Like, this is a, this is a talented guy who five, ten years ago would have been a second-round pick. But clearly the Bengals have done a great job of, of drafting their running backs because they've got three guys who can play. I was just about to say, it looks like Matt has three halfbacks on the field right now. He has one at tight end, one in, one in the slot, and then he has, I'm, I'm not even sure who uh, Walton no. Jr. is. Yeah, he's a, he's a rookie out of Florida. He was a fourth round draft pick. Uh, except, you know, University of Miami, great player, great prospect. But with the NFL, you know, devaluing the position, they fall down a little bit on the draft boards. Now. There's Gio with a spin after the catch. And it will be another first down. So he's in positive territory. Here at the 48-yard line, trying to go down and either tie this game or take the lead. And that's Giovanni Bernard, a running back that he's been using ex almost exclusively out of the slot. I mean, he in real life, he's a he's kind of a, a very good re uh, receiving back, and you know, I'm pretty sure he's the same on the game. A lot of the the good pass catching backs in real life are really good as far as in a pass game and in Madden as well. Yeah, it's kind of a savvy move to, to put him in there. Normally you would have Tyler Boyd out there, but he's taking advantage of the speed with, with John Ross and using that pass-catching ability of Giovanni Bernard. Skimbo's won over $200,000 playing Madden. Master Gamers won 20, but he's looking to add to it. Here against Skimbo, and it's going to bring up a third and four. Yeah, clearly he, uh, they identified that spin, and they're using it to their advantage. In, in my opinion, in, in Man 19, that's the difference between the guys that over here, over here. are able to pick up those clutch plays and not is the yards after the catch. I mean, and here comes a big third and four. It's important in this Madden more than anything to be able to just extend plays. I mean, last year, obviously, Barry Sanders had a nasty spin move, but... Um, <laughs> This year, I mean, if you if you have a back that's in that high 80s in the spin, they're going to make people miss. Yeah, you want you want spinners all over the field. You want even if you can have a spinner at quarterback, if you, if you take off with your quarterback, you know, if you can make that extra move, that that could be the difference between a three yard play and a touchdown. Well, here at the two minute warning, Boogs with us, Adam Rank from the NFL Network. Boogs, what do you do on the defensive side of the ball? to combat that spin. I mean, do you, are you clicking off? Or are you clicking on? Are you strafing? What's the, what's the move? The spin is such a big play that at this point, it's, you, you'd almost much rather give up. At this point, I'd much rather give up uh, the extra five yards. So I just strafe up, and I'd much rather give you the extra five yards, let you run past me, than to let you spin me, keep your momentum, and off to the races. When it's someone like Tyreek Hill, it is. It's, it's, it's not Tyreke. only five yards. It's, uh, it's going to be a, a touchdown after that. So we have a second and 11 with a little over 90 seconds to go in the half. Skimbo up three. But Master Gamer on a long, painful drive. <laughs> it seems like he's had the ball forever, and he's only got it down to the 36-yard line, and that would probably be on the edge of field goal range. Dalton. We have no idea what the wind is right now, and he will just throw it away. And here comes a huge third and 11. Skimbo really bending and not breaking, you know, against Master Gamer right here. Yeah, you know, he's, he's just trying to keep everything in front of him. And at the very least, you know, worst case scenario, give him three. You know, you don't want to give him a touchdown. So I know Skimbo's not going to really kind of overdo it. He's going to give him the underneath. And without the knowledge of the Bengals, you don't really necessarily know if the Bengals kicker, I'm sure Matt knows, but I'm, I don't know if Skimbo knows. Like. Matt might be the only person that knows. I mean, we got 
We got a lot of people watching. He might be the only one that knows the kick power. Maybe Donnie Moore's out there somewhere with the kick power. I'm sure he can make it from the 33, but you know, I know Skimble's probably thinking, like, how many yards do I need to sack him or get him back to, well, in order to make him miss? Win. I can't see what the win is doing on the, on the, on the right uh, side. He may oh. have missed this. Oh, you can hear the groans from the crowd. This is a 50-yarder. And normally when guys hold it like that, they know they just messed up. And the kick is oh. well off the mark. You could have put a couple goal posts out there on the side. He would have even made it in the third set of field goal posts. And that is a huge miss kick. I see a couple of guys rocking the new era hat. A little, little Corbin signing. Ben Frey out there in the building. A little young Ethan. It's getting dark out there. And these guys are trying to see Those who sweet is. sweet lids. Once again, seven and Seven and three quarters, <laughs> Chicago Bears. I'm just seven saying. and three eighths. Is that big? Am I am I getting nah, closer? Dude, to the, that's, am I getting nah. close to the monster head? I'm... If you didn't do the fractions, I would be seven and six eighths. But Let's I did the math. Oh my gosh, I did math. That was amazing. <laughs> Mahomes, quick throw here from Skimbo. He's gonna have. Uh, that's actually his final timeout. So 60 seconds, no timeout. Ball at the 44 yard line. And after the missed field goal, now things open up. He's got an opportunity to come down here and score books. And going up two scores before the half would be huge here for Skimbo. I think uh, Matt's going to be afraid to go back to that uh, match coverage now because Skimbo's showing him that he can get a big play on it. And so now I think Skimbo kind of has him where he wants him. He's just trying to figure out, okay, what coverage is he going to kind of stick to now in order to kind of slow me down. Mahomes rolling to the left, looking mm -hmm. deep and knocked away. Big time hit as the ball came in, and it'll be a third and six. Huge opportunity here for Matt. You know, if he gets a stop and perhaps, you know, gets the ball back with some time here. He's got three timeouts. Yeah, there's plenty of time. I mean, if he can get a stop, it'll be huge for him. Smart by Skimbo to just take the drag, spin up field, and try to get extra yards. So he gets a fresh set of downs. That's the key moment there. He's run 10 plays. It feels like these guys have barely had the ball, and the, and the half is just flying by. Just 30 seconds to go here in the first half of semifinal number Tyreek. one. Up top to uh -oh. Tyreek. And the prayers won't be answered. And it'll be second and 10 at the 45. That's the value of Tyreek. You know, he, he's 99 speed, and it's like any play, he could beat you. And so it's like, for Skimbo, he's going to take that shot. It's, it's a relatively high percentage play or low risk play, I should say, because, you know, he feels like I'm not necessarily going to throw an interception, but let's take a chance. If you happen to, it's just a, a long shot at the end zone. Mahomes, no timeouts for Skim, and he'll just throw it away. Now third down. He, and Mike would know the exact what he needs here, but I would think he needs another five to ten yards here. Yes, depending on the win, we weren't able to see the win. I seen someone hit a, hit a kick with the Chiefs kicker from the 40-yard line. Okay. Mahomes. Throws oh. a quick one, but it's going to be dropped, and now we're going to find out. Uh, he does not have this kind of range. A uh, 62-yarder would be Insanity. Uh, what are you doing right here if you're Mike? Are you kicking or going? With 30 seconds left and my opponent has three timeouts, I'm punting this thing. And what about 13 there's seconds? There's 13 seconds. That's how many seconds there? You said 30. <laughs> oh, sorry. You heard 13 seconds. No matter what, anything more than three seconds, I'm punting it. All right, so this is what he'll do on fourth and 10. He'll just punt this thing away. It is a, it is a left to right win. So at least we know not that. It's not going to be for or against anyone here in Cincinnati. And Harris will take it to the 14-yard line. And we'll have time for just one more heave. And it was smart for him to sky kick it because he took 10 seconds off of the clock. And now Matt's at the 14-yard line. That's a mad move there. Yeah, you know, sky kick it and, you know, reduce, reduce risk. So one play here for Master Gamer. Not quite the flood that you were promising from Weatherman Boogs. <laughs> uh, but uh, here's the final play as Walton Jr. 
uh, won't get anything done. Boogs, appreciate you joining us here for the first half. One of the best competitors in all of Madden, and good luck the rest of the way this year. I appreciate it. Good luck to Mike and uh, Matt. All right, that's thanks so much, man. That's Boogs joining us from Atlanta, Georgia, dropping some knowledge and some insight. And I feel like if you're Master Gamer right now, obviously you'd want to be ahead going into the half with the ball, but I think that that was pretty close to about you're as well could be expected. If you're Matt, I think you're thrilled. Right? I mean, you hold Skimbo to, to you know, three points. you got to be good with that. Good. Got an opportunity here to, uh, to put some points on the board. And he'll start with the ball. He's got an opportunity to come down here to take the lead on Skimbo. Dalton gets it out to Joe Mixon. And he'll get to the 32-yard line. Yeah, every one of these Bengals running backs can catch the football. That's one of the, one of the things that they've identified when they were drafting these guys. So now it's a second and three. Hey, get ready for something coming left. Hey, get ready for something coming Boy, left. I, I, was, I was expecting a little bit more points, especially out of Skimbo here. He had a, several opportunities. Remember, in the first half, through that interception, but Matt's just been unable to really capitalize of any of the mistakes, and now it's just, that's really, when we look at these defenses, but I think, yeah, Adam, that's all that there is. Just, just five yard plays, five yard plays. Someone's gotta be patient enough uh, to just be willing to dink and dunk all the way down the field. You know, and we see this a lot when you get to the Super Bowl, and especially with the Patriots Super Bowls of that, the first half is always extremely low scoring much more than you would anticipate. Obviously, last year was kind of an exception because Doug Peterson had a pretty nice game plan going. But I remember the one with Atlanta that was in Houston as Andy Dalton here scrambles for the first down. Is that when you have two teams that aren't super familiar with each other, neither one wants to make a big mistake to give the other guy an opportunity to go up huge. And I think that's kind of what we were seeing here. So first and 10 after the blazing speed of Andy Dalton. <laughs> Picks up the first down near midfield. He's not Mahomes, but he's he's athletic. And there's a big time sack. Can't get away from D Ford. And that was the difference that Young Kiv was telling us about a few games ago. Is that Kansas City when you got, you know, Houston up there, and you also have Ford. Those are two guys that can block shed at any moment. Yeah, and of course, you know, the secondary, as he pointed out, isn't quite up to the the standards of other secondaries in the NFL, but of course, the advantage of having Eric Berry here in this contest, even though the Chiefs haven't had him in the regular season so far, that's a huge difference. So just a three-point ball game. We're expecting to see a lot more fireworks in this one. We're expecting this one to go right down to the wire, though. That's the good news. I think that's the way Matt's been trying to play this. Like, obviously, there's a reason why the playcock keeps going down underneath 10 seconds and everything. He wants to shorten this game as much as possible. Dalton here on third and nine, and here comes the heat. Gets rid of it, but it'll be fourth down and nine to go at the 49, and he got to go for it. Wait, you got to? I'm saying you got to go for it. Yeah, I would probably agree with that. I mean, at some point, you know, it's nice to be close. You've grinded the clock and everything, but at some point you got to make a play. So fourth down, nine to go for Master Gamer. The biggest game of Madden he's ever played here in the semifinals. And Mike Skimbo just itching to get the ball back. Neither team has had a lot of offensive opportunities. Dalton buying time, oh. and that's going to be overthrown. It was intercepted, but Thankfully for Mike Skimbo, that out was of out bounds. of bounds. Yeah. yeah. And so Skimbo will take over at the 49-yard line. And now let's see if he can go to work. He's had some misreads. He's had some stall outs in the red zone. But as Boogs was saying, you know, it seemed like Mike was just trying to wait for his opportunity to make something big happen. And the scramble and now the throwaway will have a second and ten. Skimbo really looking downfield for a mismatch. He's looking for that one play touchdown, and it just hasn't been there for either of our competitors. Really stingy defense between both of these guys. 
Yeah, Matt Serdamer has is, is, done a great job of containing Tyreek Hill, who has been torching everybody during this tournament so far. As you see right there, he catches it, but only for a minimal gain. Yeah, that's just a yard, so third and eight. The ball at the 48-yard line. At some point, the gloves are going to have to come off here. You're going to have to, you Got to take a swing, right? You, you, you have to go for it here at some point because... Both these guys playing very conservative, there. but there is Tyree Kill, and he's off to the races. It's a touchdown for Skimbo. We've seen that play a couple times. And oh, he's gone to that quite a bit this, this tournament, and especially today. And that's, you know what, that's what you're trying to do at that point is, you know, if you can make that first guy miss, then you got Tyree Kill one-on-one -on -one with a lot of other defenders, and that oftentimes ends in a touchdown. And that's what we were talking about. I was saying take the gloves off, but I really mean open it up here because now you can't be conservative if you're Master Gamer with 157 to go in the third. Now you need points, whether it's a field goal or a touchdown. You got to put a, a drive together right here. Yeah, his mind's working right now. He had had this, you know, again, I, I am pretty confident he came into this game with a, with a, with a plan, trying to keep it close. Trying to burn a lot of clock, but now you got to go out there and get the ball in, into the hands of your playmakers. John Ross is going to take it to there the There it is. He's on his horse. 10-5 touchdown, Master Gamer. <laughs> what an answer right there. And, and Hoodie uh, Matt is going to take it into the end zone. And right there is the speed of John Ross. Yeah, and the crowd here is getting into it. I'm sure you can pick them up on our mics. The crowd seems fully behind Master Gamer. The chants are happening. He's re-energized. It looked like a moment ago that he was in a heap of trouble, but now all of a sudden, he's got an opportunity to make some plays here. Kick out of bounds. That's the second time in back-to-back -back games that we see Master Gamer have an infraction on the kickoff, and so that's going to give Mike Skimbo great field position out at the 40-yard line. We've seen some ugly rushing numbers in this game. It's been all through the air. Mahomes will scramble and just throw it away. But again, we've seen that a lot from time and time again. Skimbo trying to find something happening downfield, has to roll out and just, just throw that away. It's almost like he knows, hey, I'm going to get, I got four downs. That means I'm going to get five, you know, I'm going to get four shots at the end zone. Hill in motion again. Mahomes. Oh, there he is. Rolling, throwing, and he decides to go to Sammy Watkins. Skimbo just 8 of 16 in the passing game for 140 yards. That's Watkins' third grab for 18. Yeah, that's amazing. And as a dumb guy, you know, I thought maybe he had Tyreek Hill, but what do I know? Seemed like he was open, but, you know. Well, we are in Vegas, but... There's a time to gamble, and there's a time not to. And he's going to go back to Sammy, who gets that animation off the spin to get the first down. We've seen Watkins get several key animations here today, and that was a big one to move the chains. Yeah, you know what? After giving up a big play or a big kickoff return for a touchdown, it was imperative to go out and at least move the sticks a couple of times. Obviously, the ultimate goal is to get into the end zone but you can't turn the ball over, so that was a huge play right there for Michael Skimba. Mahomes stands tall. There's Sammy. That's time he's wide open for Watkins. Feels like he's setting him up a little bit. Sammy Watkins is doing his work underneath. A couple of completions, a couple of times moving the sticks. We wonder how Master Gamer is going to respond to that and if this will open it up for a big gainer to Tyreek Hill. Mahomes in the gun. Bunch to the right. Watkins is solo to the left. Mahomes. And will not get out of the pocket. Actually took a big hit there from Geno Atkins and will lose two. Big Geno bringing the heat. Huge drive here for Skimbo. Came up short in the New England Patriots Club Championship. And so really needs to reach the final, because when you reach the final, mm -hmm. you're pretty much guaranteed to have a spot in the Madden Bowl. So you need those points. You need this win. Of course, the 25 grand. I mean, people are going to be cool with that, too. Put your fours up. There it is. 
I was getting worried. Well, this game has been going so fast. I said, I think you're not you're not picking up that we're we're putting up the fours here. And he hands it off oh, to Williams, and there's some nice blocking up front to the 32. You know, and Damian Williams comes in with a 788 overall rating. He's got a 91 speed, which is probably one of the reasons why everybody's been leaning on him so far in this tournament. He's also a 70 catch, which also plays huge in the passing game. Yeah, he's been a real gem. Definitely not a household name before he started the weekend. Mahomes will somehow oh. get out of the pocket. He'll pick up the first down at the 25 yard line. That's his first time getting loose, and he picks up seven. Yeah, you know what? You got caught without a spy, and, of course, Michael Skimbo is just going to take advantage of that. And, of course, right now, if you're master gamer, you got to make sure you keep him out of the end zone, keep this to a manageable situation. And, of course, on the other side of the football, Skimbo wants to take that two-score lead. Yeah, he needs a touchdown here to put himself up by those ten points. And now you're in the red zone. Now it's going to get extremely stingy, extremely difficult as the field shrinks. If, you, if you're a master gamer, you can hold them to a field goal here. You can have the opportunity to go on a guap drive. Of course. And, and in this game under your control, your power, yeah, and that, and control and your it, own destiny. That's what it's all about. And that shows why Skimbo is, is showing a lot of patience here and is willing to take some of these smaller gainers because not only is he moving closer to pay dirt, but he's also taking a lot of precious time off that clock. Second and three. Land off to Williams, and Williams will pick up the first down. And at some point here, Master Gamer. Got to start thinking about it. Got to start thinking about those timeouts. You know, he moves the sticks right there. He's probably going to take 120 ticks off the clock. This is a, this has always been a philosophy in, in Madden, and some would probably lean toward waiting until the two-minute warning. I'm a guy that likes to go pre-two-minute warning. Yeah. I want to save as much time as possible. I think that's what traditional football acumen would tell you. Of course. But I think for a lot of the, the, the Madden guys in the community in the building, they would say, I'm going to wait. You yeah, know, they might want to start, Yeah, they might want to borrow that play out of the – out of the Sunday NFL play callers. Start calling those timeouts a little bit early. Save yourself some more time. See what he does here. Spencer Ware will carry two guys. Going to wow. pin on the spot here. Knee went down at the six-yard line, so it's going to be a second and one. You'd almost want that to be a first down if you're a master gamer, but now and he's... then use the timeout for sure. Then he's probably going to be picking up the first down here at least, unless he can make a big stop. And then you have the sticks moved and another opportunity to burn another 120 ticks. Am I doing that math, Ryan? Is it 120? Yeah, 40, I don't know. 40 plus 40? That's a minute 20. 80 ticks. Did I say that, Ryan? Minute 20, so you're saying I don't know. Let's just. I'm following your math. They can roast me wherever. I don't care. And there's I'm trying. I'm trying to sound cool to the kids. <laughs> hey, what's up, fellow kids? Hey, kids. <laughs> Second and one, here's eye formation. Where's, where's my skateboard? And they, and they hand it off to Spencer Ware. And he doesn't go anywhere. He actually is going to lose a yard. It's going to be third and two from the six. So maybe a half a yard there as the bell tolls. And the toss. Got to make a play. And it's going to be close to a touchdown for Skimbo. Now you got to use timeouts. My main man, RG, coming in saying, man, that missed field goal earlier from Matt is everything right now. Mm. That's why he's down by three, and that's why he's one yard away yeah, special from this teams. being out of reach. Special teams has been so huge in this tournament. Ooh. There, a QB sneak. Master wow. Gamer's got sneak D, and that's going to push him back to the two-yard line. So now it's second and goal from two, and there's the second timeout. For Master Gamer, one remaining, 111 to go. And here comes second down from Skimbo. A score here would clinch it. Possibly. No, I, I'm just telling you, it, it's, it's in the fridge. It just, he can power his way in, just gets a yard. And there's the final timeout. So it comes down. And even if he stops him here, He's going to end up kicking a field goal with around, what, 20 seconds left? I'm going to put something out there. Oh, no. 
He doesn't I'm do it. I'm going for it twice here. If I get stopped here, I'm going for it again. Because his best weapon has been the kickoff return. And I'm, and I'm going to let I mean, you'd have to squib kick it. go from the one-yard line. Because he's done nothing on offense against him. And he can't get in there. And so here comes another 40 seconds off the clock. He can take it all the way down to 22 seconds left. Does he kick the 18-yard field goal? We've seen a ton of blocks over this week. You can, see, you can see him debating. He looks like Darth Vader there at the end of Return of the Jedi when he's debating whether he wants to save his son or not or side with the Emperor. What's he going to do? You can feel it. Such a feelings, feel Adam. I know them to be true. Exactly. What's he going to do? I go for it here. I would either go for it or kick the field goal. Sorry, I just, you know, I'm just, you know, <laughs> I'm going to. your bets here in Vegas, I that's guess. That's what I do, you know. Timeout by Mike with 25 seconds to go. I'm sitting here at the roulette wheel. I'm playing, you know, red and black. I mean, I could still lose on the single zero. So, I mean, let's, let's go through the pros and cons. You kick okay. the field goal here. Uh, Matt needs a, a touchdown to win, and he's going to kick it. The good news Seems for Skimbo. perfect. Is it's not perfect, but it's good. Oh. So he was just off well, the top of the accuracy. He did get it on the way back down. And now Master Gamer is going to need a touchdown. He's and got I'd be Chad really Henning. surprised here. There's no way you can let John Ross touch this football. Not a chance at all. He gave up a long kick return earlier. Geo. Geo, what has he got? On the return, gets away from one, but can't get away from the second. So zero timeout for Master Gamer. Needs a touchdown for the win. Are we going to see something ridiculous? Watch for John Ross, A.J. Green. Don't forget about Geo. First and 10. Need to work toward the sidelines here. If you can get yourself Within a heave, that's what you need. Look at Mike, he's taking himself all the way back to between the two safeties with Lucas. And he'll drop way back. A.J. Green looking for the sideline. He'll dive out at the 36. Oh. Precious seconds lost, but it will stop the clock. Getting closer, one more, one more out route to get yourself into. 64 yards away from Pater. It's a long way to go in 11 seconds. Two plays left. In this tournament, possibly for Matt. Dalton. Comes the adjustments. Skimbo will drop back with a user. Picks up the blitz. Going up top to John Ross. And it's oh, picked intercepted. off by Parker. And Michael Skimbo is going to be moving on to the final here in the Madden 19 Classic. Skimbo's done it a ton of different ways this weekend. He's had a high-powered offense. He's had dominating defense. And then he gets together with Master Gamer, and it is a grind-it-out ball game. Old-school football, but still gets it done. Yeah, that's the thing, is that you have a variety of different ways and a variety of different games that you have to play. He's enjoyed a couple of blowouts. Actually, that game against Drini, you know, he just took him apart. But, you know, going up against Master Gamer,